have on out. Have the Ed Shibano here in Toro. This is all Nicaraguan. This is Nicaraguan Habano, and everything is Nicaraguan in here. Everything's Nicaraguan in here. Um, so I'm gonna have this right now. This, this edge. Open this. Feels like a nice sweet, a nice sweet cigarette tobacco. Hmm. Have a few modifications made to the videos potentially soon. I'm gonna be going with a new method. It's only going to be potentially watching only, viewing only. That's it. The interactive is going to be taken out soon because I don't usually have a side chat very often, other than some troublemaker who um, who likes to rogue mob my channel so I'm not gonna give anyone the privilege to interact anymore because all that has been going on previously and I'm gonna address that now just in case but I'm entirely removing that option very soon so here it is it smells very good. It um, it is made very nicely. Excuse the lighting. It's wrapped very nicely here. A few visible veins, but mostly they're closed up pretty tight. Packed very nicely here. These, these have been a winner for a long time. A lot of people like these, and for a good reason. They like them. It's very spicy on the pre-light. It's very spicy. It's like a basement, like a musty basement and very spicy with some hay. A little barnyard, maybe. There's a very... I just did. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I just fucking did. I'll do it every time now. <laughs> nobody intimidates me and nobody gets me to do what they want me to do. You will be in for a rude awakening the minute that happens. And you're lucky you don't have your bank accounts broken into or anything like that, you know, because that did happen to somebody not long ago who messed with me. I got people working for me on behalf of me behind the scenes. I don't give it all away. Either. So watch your fucking ass. Very nice light. This cigar has a very good reputation for a reason.
Yep, I'm getting rid of the comments very soon on here, so no one's going to be able to do anything. You're going to have to go somewhere else, because <laughs> I'm going to make it like this full time. Full fucking time. On every channel. Every fucking channel. Mm-hmm. Eat it up now, because it's going to be the last fucking time. Aaron, Aaron, I got a hold of you, dude. What's going on with you? You haven't wrote me back on anything. But Ronnie was just in the fucking chat trying to pull his bullshit, so I have to pull the whole entire chat now. I have to shut it off completely, because he just won't leave. He just won't leave. That's the bottom line. He's not going nowhere. He's shown me he's going to stalk me till the end of fucking time. He just better hope his fucking accounts don't get broken into. Because cause someone has had that happen to them recently. You know? Who has done the same thing, but just in a different way. No, he's not. He's not the same person. It is confirmed he's not the same person. He pretended to be noodles, okay? Now that I have a few people in here talking, this will be easier for us to discuss this as a group right now. But anytime he comes in, just knock him out of the room. He's going to probably try to keep coming back. I mean, I keep hiding him and he comes back. I removed his mod successfully, but he keeps coming back. I don't know what the hell's going on. But because of him, I'm highly considering shutting down all chat from now on. It's not Barter. It, it's somebody who acts like Barter, but it isn't him. Well, well then we're going to have to step our game up then, huh, Aaron? Because I'm going to be shutting the chat down if... if him or anyone else thinks about coming in here. I have a lot of people who hate me, okay? Tons of them hate me because I tell the truth on it. And they can't deal with the very strong personality. And I'm an extremely strong personality. And But it ain't my problem. I have, I have another person bothering me right now. But I'm not going to disclose her name in case that means that some of my him might go to someone like her, but it doesn't matter. Um, but it's clearly taken out of the content, and I'm, I'm going to have to shut the chat down to focus on the content, because I have to babysit what's going on, and there, it's not going to fucking happen. The side chat has been the worst fucking thing to ever happen. It's been the worst thing. I mean, the whole comment after a video is how this website is supposed to be. That is the OG way. I don't like all this new shit. I'd rather have the old format, the old inbox, everything old. So just get rid of him when he comes in here, all right? Get rid of him. I got a show to run. Kick that. Come on. What are you waiting for? Fucking kick it. Why, why are you sitting there and letting them type in here? That's not my job. Thank you. You have wrenches for a reason. Get rid of them on spot when they come in here. Well. Those are the breaks sometimes, though. I may just cut the whole thing off. It's better for the content, I'll tell you that. I told you, I'm not an interactive person. I like to do the content and focus on the content. Period. So right here, it is burning relatively evenly right now. It's almost an inch in.
I'm changing things up though from now on. Just with a lot of stuff. I haven't been hanging in a title tightest circle that I should have been hanging in. And all these bullies like to get you when you buy yourself a lot, I notice. So they're gonna be flipping out when they can't get to me anymore. I'll tell you that. This is the only place where they can get away with such nonsense. In real life, they can't. There's consequences for this stuff in real life. Or if someone is nearby where they live at, they put themselves in great danger with situations like this. So... If you want to give Roddy a call, I have his phone number. Anyone want to give him a call? Anyone want to ring his phone off the hook again? Or He used to be. Not anymore. <laughs> and he's mad that he's not anymore. I, I got him out of here. Yeah, it's tough to explain if you if you're not familiar with this. But it takes a lot of time and energy to do this kind of thing. You have to be a, a no life having motherfucker. I see someone like him has no good reason to be angry and to go ghost. It isn't like a whole community has ever been after this guy when he showed his face. This guy is just a natural born evil person. There's no help for people like him. He should be in a mental institution. He shouldn't be running the street. One thing Ronald Reagan done that was bad is he shut down all the nut houses. He shut them all down when he was president. Thank you, Jordan. Very good. Very good. He shut down all the nut houses. Now we're seeing how bad that really is because now they can get on the internet. Now, I don't care so much about real life and on the streets, but on the internet, it's been a big problem because now we're seeing there's several people who should have been in the nut house for a long time. That's right, Jordan, that's correct. But I need a team behind me. It's tough to do this by yourself. You gotta have a team behind you with the very notorious kind of person on here. Right, okay, good. Thank you for having my back. Very much. Good. Good. That goes for any other account who comes in here, too. Of such people, they want to bust my balls when I'm doing a live stream. And another account's name is Hazel. If you see any Hazel accounts, kick them on the spot. Right there, that, that's another person. So I would say this cigar tastes overall good. There's a little bit of a bitter nutty taste, a spiciness to it. It's about a medium strength. The cigar is performing good, but it's another case of one of those, because it's a more quality leaf, 
it smooths out anything that wouldn't be smooth maybe if another brand made it, you know? Oh, really? If you have to jump ship, what do you mean if I have to jump ship you? hope I can find you. Well, I could continue this content on another website, too. I might put my new... I'm not going to say where I'm going to go, but I might put my... <coughs> I might move this to another website. I might move it to another website, actually, yeah. I might indeed. Now, keep everything up. Nothing's going to be hidden on this cigar channel. Nothing. I'm keeping everything up. But I'm highly considering moving to another channel. Somewhere else. That's right. I'm going to have to tell you. You're going to have to email me. All right. I don't want any of these wackos knowing where I'm going. You know. Because this is very bad for my mental health. It's terrible for my mental health. It's eating me inside and out. Just everything between all my channels on here. It's eating me. It's like my mental health is suffering on here because everyone else has mental health problems. There's, I've never seen so many mentally ill people in my life in one fucking place. It's just, it's disgusting nowadays. Well, thank you, Aaron. I consider you a friend of mine for the time I've known you at least, you know, I mean. But I have spent time in the Portland area. I gotta tell you something, it's probably better on the Portland streets than it is online. <laughs> if that says anything. Oh, well, it's the, it's the most closest thing to this for real life though the closest it's going to get in the united states for sure but if that's even better than this what's that telling you you know Right there, that's a pretty good cigar burn. That's a good burn right there. Diagonal, but overall burning nicely here. You can see inside. So the ash is crackling a little bit right there. It is. These are good. All of the edges are good. I have my favorites. You know what my favorite Rocky Patel edge is? I like the edge light. The edge light... In the Maduro Edge, I would say. But I would say the Edge Light has a really nice flavor to it. The Black Band Edge Light. Yeah, that too. The Carollo is the Maroon Band, right? That's a good one too, yeah. But the Edge is the best Rocky Patel cigar, I think. Would anyone agree the Edge is the best blend that Rocky Patel makes? All the way across. I would say the edge is, is the best. All the way around. And the flavors here are smoothing out now too. There's not as much bitterness in here. Just slightly. And it's a nutty bit of flavor with some... A little bit of milk chocolate and heavy cayenne pepper spice. There is cayenne pepper spice in here. The anniversary torpedo. There was another one that might have been really good. I'll tell you the one that I liked. I liked the Namish Thunder. The Namish Thunder. By Nish Patel, the Namish Thunder. I thought that one was really good, actually. 
I don't think that's a lot of people's favorite cigar, but but who who likes the Thunder a lot? I really like that one. The green one, it says Thunder on it. Yeah. I found a few cigars in my travels today. You'll never guess what I found. I found the El Criolito by PDR. The El Criolito. I found that. I found the Texas Lancero by Alec Bradley. I found the Kristoff Shade Grown. It's a bird of good, I'd say. I'd say a decent diagonal burn right here. It's a little walky, not too bad, but a little walky. I don't think it's going to hike way up higher than that, though, than it is right now. I got these cigars I have not reviewed, right? They go for like 25 bucks for 20 of them. From Finks right here. Hold on. Look at this, like, person. No, wrong one. Oh. <laughs> Look at these. Unbanded. Like a factory throwaways. It has one of those on it. And they're pretty box press looking too. They're pretty boxy, actually. And not many of those at all burn unevenly. Yeah. They don't burn unevenly, though. Like, next to none of them. They look like something more expensive when you smoke them, actually. So they don't all burn uneven at all.
That piece might, that ash might come off right there soon. I don't know. Oh, really? I've taught you more than anyone. I guess, I guess because I've talked to several people when I went to these lounges, you know, just throughout my time. And I guess I picked up all this information, you could say. And plus do it for myself also. But see, now that we're all in here, and now that I got more people in here, Roddy is gone now. He totally disappeared. He's not here no more. So that's what it takes. Yeah, you come back now. He's the third viewer. He just happened to come back now. But I'll tell you right now, um, it's definitely more under control than it was. I'll say that. The problem is, is sometimes he's the first one in here trying to ruin the show before everyone else gets a chance to come in here. So if anyone truly wants to see my content here, they have to show up and be ready to perform on the wrenches. Because... I'm talking for any chair. So there's no bullshit like this. Well, bring him in right now. Bring him in. <laughs> I dare you to bring him in right now. It doesn't sound like you do. <laughs> But see, it doesn't matter if he does. He can't use them because everyone here is wrenched up. Yeah, this one's burning a little weird for an edge. It really is burning a little weird. I am going to say. Get those one dollar ones, they don't they don't uneven out really. Well, the ash stayed on, but it is looking very awkward right now. <clears throat> All right, Jordan.
Hanging on though, <laughs> still hanging on. But it cannot stay totally even. The flavors are still good though. But would I say the Ed Shibata was my least favorite one out of all the edges? I would say yes. It's still good though, but it's probably my least favorite out of all the edges. But there's some habanos that it is much better than on the taste test anyway. That's how I would rate this. Look at that. It hasn't dropped yet. <coughs> Ooh. <laughs> Okay. Gonna take a break for a second. Hold on. Well, now it's looking funny. So hopefully this will even out now that the ash is burned off. Let's see here. No pieces flying out of the ends. No nothing. No hot pebbles coming out. Maybe now I can finally get under control. about there. You have a smoke output is strong. <coughs> Touch it up slightly.
pretty much even. Yeah, that looks nuts. Thirty-four minutes of smoking. About. And that is what it's looking like. Hopefully it'll stay normal for the rest of the way here. Flavors in here still good, and now it's the most even that it has been at this point. There is a silvery ash right now on it. The best that it's been, I think.
Hold it nicely. As close to even as this has got. Been a lot of places since March 2021. Almost two years now. Slightly at even right there. Forty two above forty two minutes of smoking time right now. With a nice buttery, little peppery, nutty, pretty much the same flavor consistency. Not too many new ones that came in here, I'd say. Maybe a slight vanilla is coming in. The vanilla nut. With cayenne pepper.
trying to go on even again. Approximately 46 minutes of smoking time, maybe more. Forty-eight minutes, about forty-eight minutes now of smoking time, and that just does not want to stay even.
Wow. <laughs> Canoeing again. My least favorite edge of all of them. Flavor wise, it's good. But the burn on this one, not so much. Not too smokable right now toward the very end. Alright, it is finished. That has been the edge, Habano and Toro. It is time to sign out. Thank you all for tuning in and taking care of business when necessary tonight. TCOB. All right. Good night for now.